guys, uh, today we're going to show you how to connect your Raspberry Pi to the coffee pot in the hardware. Uh, to do this, the first thing you need is a toolkit, and you will also need your Raspberry Pi, a relay, some male to female GPIO pins, the charger for the Raspberry Pi, and of course your coffee pot. Alright, let's get started. Hey guys, um, so I'm going to show you, uh, first steps first is how does the relay work? And so to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nine volt battery and we're gonna put the relay with the nine volt battery in a circuit and we're gonna light two LEDs. Uh, with the relay, you have a normally open and a normally close and I'm gonna show you how that works. All right guys, so in order to show you how the relay works, what I have here is a nine volt battery. I have a breadboard. I have the relay that we're gonna be using. Um, I have a male to female uh, GPI open pin, I have three of them, uh, and then I have uh, male to male pins over here, and then I have a, a 4.7 uh, K ohm uh, resistor, I have two of them, and then I also have two blue LEDs. So the first thing I did was connect the buses uh, to the 9 volt battery, and then I connected the three openings which are the normally open, normally closed, and center, uh, which is the common on the relay. And uh, after that I connect the signal wires, uh, which is the signal wire, the common ground, and the power wire uh, to the other side of the relay. Now what's important to know is when I touch the signal wire to the power that's coming from the 9 volt battery, uh, the other LED uh, will turn on and the LED on the right will turn off. That's because the normally closed position is now normally open when you apply the signal uh, to Now I will show you how to connect the Raspberry Pi to the relay with GPIO pins. To do this you will need your Raspberry Pi, your relay, and three GPIO pins that are female to female. So to connect these GPIO pins to the Raspberry Pi, I will connect the black wire to the ground, the white wire to the 3.3 voltage, and this gray wire will be our signal wire, which will be connected to GPIO pin 17. So now I will connect this black wire to the ground, which will be the third pin on the right, and this white wire will be connected to the 3.3 volts, which is the first pin on the top left. and this gray wire will be connected to GPIO pin 17, which is the sixth one down on the left. Now I will connect these pins to the relay. So our ground wire, which is the black one, will be connected to the negative, which for this relay is all the way on the right. And now this white wire will be the next one connected in the middle to the positive. And the signal wire which will control whether the relay is activated or not, will be connected all the way to the left. And that is how you set up the Raspberry Pi with a relay. To prove that these GPIO pins are connected properly, we created a setup so the relay will turn on a blue LED when uh, the GPIO pin sends a signal to the relay. Now uh, to do this uh, we took our relay and we put it in the normally open position so that the blue LED isn't always on um, when it's plugged in the 9 volt battery. Right here we have a 9 volt battery and it's uh, the power source to this breadboard. Uh, it's not turning on the blue LED again because it's in the normally open uh, position for the relay. So as you can see on the monitor that we have, um, you can plug a Raspberry Pi into a, um, a TV or anything that will take an HDMI uh, input, uh, but we made a simple uh, Python code named coffee.py uh, to turn on our uh, relay. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it. And as I run it, uh, you can see that the blue LED is lighting up and it just turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and run it again. And you can see the blue LED lights up for about five seconds and then it will turn off because that's how the code is written. 
Also, as you can see, when we do run this code, the relay has an indicator light on it that will show that the relay is turned on. So that is that red light you're seeing on the relay. All right, so we decided to split this video up into two parts. And uh, you can click on the link, it should be somewhere up here.